I know there's a lot of meat eaters who watch my channel who complain about how terrible vegan foods taste despite never actually trying them because Big Macs are cheaper than Boca burgers and they're cheap fucks with no taste or class. But it seems you get what you pay for as the best burger in the world is vegan and I know that might surprise a lot of you because plants don't taste good, right? It's just that you flavor your meat with plants. Notice how actual omnivores and carnivores eat their meat without any cooking or adding any spices and if you were to do that everyone would think you have mental problems. Funny how a species that has evolved to eat plants adds plants to the meat they eat so that it doesn't taste like meat. Our ape ancestors and early humans also ate diets rich in fruit which would explain our sweet tooth and it would also explain why most barbecue sauces are so high in sugar but meat tastes so good right? Just not on its own and you have to add good tasting plants for it to be palatable. And before you say a combination of foods complement each other, chocolate and peanut butter complement each other and they both taste good on their own. Meat doesn't taste good on its own, but plants do. So this might sound like a crazy idea, but when you make a meal, how about only using good tasting food to make up that meal, which might have been the idea behind making the best burger in the world. And here's another thing to think about, the animals that get killed to make your meals. Meat eating is very common in most societies, but killing animals isn't, and we tend to allow psychopathic corporations to do all of the killing for us as we can't stand killing animals ourselves. Funny how humans have no predatory instincts despite many people claiming that we're omnivores and natural predators? Let me ask you this, if your kid had a hobby of killing birds or squirrels with a slingshot or BB gun, would you call that acting on his or her natural predatory instincts, or a sign that they're going to become a future serial killer? This is one of the strongest warning signs that a child will become a sociopathic killer, but somehow when we become adults, killing animals is in our nature, despite hypocrites cringing when they see animal slaughterhouse footage. And when sane people make the connection that their food choices are causing the suffering and death of animals, meat becomes a hell of a lot less appetizing, which is why the Hodge twins decided to adopt a plant-based diet. So vegan foods taste better and they don't require psychopathic violence to make, and the only thing some of you should be worried about now is cost. And plant foods are actually cheaper than meat, the only reason things like Boca Burgers are more expensive than Big Macs is because they're marketed towards a more niche market and they're a high quality gourmet product, and you can save a ton of money if you just prepare your food on your own. You can easily make your own vegan burgers or whatever else you like, there are plenty of amazing recipes out there, I'd recommend checking out vegan pages on Pinterest, and even Jamie also Oliver has vegan recipes on his website, and no, bacon isn't a superfood. And if you're lazy, you can go out and eat at places like Chipotle, or buy some fake meat products like Beyond Meat, Gardein, or Tofurky. So stop eating meat because it tastes like crap and you're a horrible person for eating it. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it, or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how. 